Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and get a message for the collective. Let's see what's going on with you guys. And happy Father's Day to any men that I may have in here. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and see what the energy is for my collective. Thank you, Spirit. Now, this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everyone. Just take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest, guys. The Strength card and Ten of Pentacles. Okay. I wasn't really going to record today, but I was like, you know what? The energy feels so nice. And look at that. I just saw the King of Cups. Right, so I thought, let me see what's going on with the collective. I was going to come back, you know, tomorrow, Monday morning or ready for the week. But I was like, mm, I don't know. My altar is calling me. <laughs> All right, that's enough shuffling. All right, thank you. Now, guys, if anything in a reading does resonate with you and you are interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below, guys, okay? Thank you to those who donate to the channels. It's very much appreciated. And hello to all the new subscribers. Hi. So what is going on with the collective? What is the message? Give me three cards to start this reading. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy for Virgo? Show me. First card, what do we have? Oh, I told you it felt good. I don't know why I'm dancing in my seat. <laughs> the Ace of Cups. I don't know. Maybe that's some of you lost energy. Maybe you've been listening to music or maybe you just feel good, right? This Ace of Cups, it could even be self-love, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be about somebody coming to offer you their cup. So we have Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy here with this Ace of Cups. Show me more. Thank you. Oh, the judgment. Okay, so we have Sagittarius energy. But this is could, you know, like I said, it could be self-love here, Virgos, right? You set yourself free from something or you just feel free, right? But the judgment can also talk about reconciliation. So we will clarify and see why it's here. So give me one more card for the top row. Thank you for my Virgos. What is the message? Thank you, Spirit. Oh, Three of Swords wants to show its face. So if some of you have found new love or if some of you have separated from someone here, uh, they may not be doing so well. Or again, it could be vice versa, right? Cross watchers, if you know that you are the one that separated from the Virgo, this definitely could be the Virgo's energy. Guys, you know your story. Three of Swords, wanting to show its face, okay. Give me another card for the top row. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy for Virgo? They're getting stuck. They're getting stuck. Look at that. The two of wands. So some of you made a final decision here. Some of you may have moved away from someone. The two of wands can sometimes represent distance here. But it's also giving me this energy. Do you know what? If you have separated from someone, you made a final decision to walk away here, Virgos. Right? It's this energy of it may have taken you a long time to do this. But we have the tower coming out here. So this could have been an abrupt ending for some of you, right? The tower comes in. We all know the universe brings in a tower moment here because something wasn't built on solid foundation, right? It just wasn't. So sometimes the universe will give you hints to kind of leave a situation yourself, right? It's that energy of pay attention to the red flags. And someone here may not have been paying attention. Or maybe they have. Maybe someone here was just didn't want to listen to their intuition, right? The two of swords kind of energy. Maybe somebody here didn't want to make a decision. Hmm. <laughs> don't worry about me. <laughs> uh, I'm here. I don't know why I'm hearing Queen Bee. Queen B. Now, for some of you, this tower moment happened here because someone had to pull away and heal themselves, right? Now, this could also be giving me the indication of what I'm hearing is someone here was in a dead-end situation where it just wasn't moving forward. It's almost like stalemate. So what is the Ace of Cups? Now, for some of you, you may have left this situation here because maybe you something else has caught your eye. Again, maybe you just... With that four of swords, um, just wanted to put the love into yourself now, right? Work on yourself. Starting to, I, I almost want to say someone here is starting to realize exactly what it is that they are worth, what it is that they deserve. Nine of Pentacles. 
slow and steady wins the race. Again, this energy of I feel like it took someone here a long time. So what is the Ace of Cups? Come on, Virgos. Thank you, Spirit. What is the Ace of Cups here? I knew, I knew this card was going to come out. The Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> and the Nine of Cups. Okay, I, I was almost going to clarify it. Still going both ways for me, right? <laughs> Someone here bisexual. <laughs> I don't know. Spirit. <laughs> Again, this could be the energy of I know my worth. I know what I deserve. I know who I am. Or somebody has their eye on you, Virgos. Someone may be seeing you here as wish fulfillment with these nine of cups. I'm hearing... All right, hold on, let me get it correct. Okay, I'm hearing... You, I am, uh, it may be Lionel Richie that sings it, uh, um, but I'm hearing you are my destiny. You are my one and only. Let me find out. <laughs> what is this judgment? What is this judgment card for my Virgos? Thank you, Spirit. Getting stuck. Ooh, the High Priestess. Oh, well, hello. Ooh, and the hermit at the bottom of the deck. So a lot of you, number one, is giving me the energy here of this may be somebody that you are not even in communication with. I don't even know if some of you know about this person with the high priestess here. But with the high priestess and the hermit energy together, this is very, very highly intuitive, right? Now, it's either that some of my Virgos out here are psychics or mediums or something like that maybe you do tarot or you know the hermit is about knowledge it's about wisdom but this is internal it's almost like i want to say um how would you say it again <laughs> ancient ah thank you spirit see this is why i need my spirit guides <laughs> some of you i don't know do you hold some kind of ancient knowledge what is the tower then Scorpio energy. So some of you may have a Scorpio. Maybe some of you broke up from a Scorpio. It's also Aries energy here. The Knight of Swords. Somebody wanting to rush in with communication here. Um, the Knight of Swords can also be challenging communication, right? But it could be that somebody here and, oh, okay. I'm also hearing with this Tower and this Knight of Swords. Somebody here could have had some kind of epiphany here. Some kind of aha moment. Maybe somebody sees you in your power with this Queen of Wands. Maybe you, a lot of my Virgos are being very confident right now. Maybe you are manifesting things for yourself, right? Maybe you're just making things happen is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing something. Oh, who sings that? It might, I don't know if it's, um, it might be Rihanna. I don't want to get it wrong if it's Rihanna or Beyonce. It might be Rihanna. I don't know. But I'm hearing, be my motivation. So I don't know if some of you are inspiring somebody right now, right? Let's go one more round. What is the Ace of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles? Thank you, Spirit. Let's go one more round. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to just stop here. <laughs> the Emperor. So somebody wants to come in and be your Emperor. The Ten of Pentacles, somebody wants to come and build with you. Could be dealing with an Aries or Taurus. It doesn't have to be. The Emperor energy is also this energy of somebody who is maybe owns their own business, is a CEO, right? Could be somebody who is also in this energy. Like I said, you may be inspiring somebody to make boss moves. The Judgment and the High Priestess. I don't know if you're doing something, Virgos, where you are successful, right? But I'm hearing this person because I'm hearing, I just want to be, I just want to be, I just want to be successful. So, again, this could be all your energy, right? Maybe you are in your masculine energy. But I feel like with that Ace of Cups, for some of you, this may be somebody else. So, what did we get? <laughs> the King 
of pentacles i just want to be successful you may be inspiring somebody here king and queen of pentacles for some of you this may even be like a proposal or something do excuse the noise but that kind of helicopter is kind of making me feel like an announcement like someone's going to make an announcement like somebody may say something after being quiet king of pentacles out here so this could be someone who is financially stable again maybe that's just their aim here right what is the tower and the knight of swords now for this definitely could be two different people here virgos right i'm not just speaking to one virgo so the energy is going to be different for for you guys did something flip out nope seeing stuff I'm seeing things, okay. <laughs> I just saw the full card and this page of cups. This could be someone who is daydreaming about going on a brand new journey with you, right? Or taking a leap of faith to come towards you as well. But there is still a little bit of doubt here in their head. With this page of cups, it can sometimes be someone who is fluttering from, all right, maybe I'll, I'll build up the courage to go and speak to Virgo. And then they kind of go, oh, um, nah. <laughs> Virgo is not going to be interested or nah. <laughs> it's that kind of an energy. But it still very, feels very lighthearted. And um, I was going to say flirty. What is the tower and the knight of swords? What is the tower and the knight of swords? My Virgo. Thank you, Spirit. The four of cups. Nah. Virgo is not going to want me. Or there is another energy here that... Um, may see you as a missed opportunity right yeah look at that the five of cups there may be someone else here that is maybe crying over spilt milk maybe a water sign a cancer Pisces, or a scorpio five of cups four of cups the tower right scorpio energy strong here i'm also hearing somebody regrets something that they said what is this Oh, the Knight of Cups. There's somebody else over here. Could be a female, doesn't have to be, right? Um, that may be watching you take another relationship to the next level with someone else. And they're left in disappointment. So let's get something here. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> God. Someone may be drowning in their emotions here. Oh, side note. Now for my Virgos. On a different level there may have been somebody here the moon card it does make me feel like magic moon magic um it, again this is not going to resonate with everyone i don't know if somebody tried to do something to your business here or your your place of work or something like that right with the eight of pentacles something that you are skilled at here right they may be disappointed because whatever they tried to do did not work you see that justice card bang in the middle there and even if it did work it may not be working anymore, right? The Five of Swords is giving me the energy of somebody used, tried to use blood, sweat, and tears to take you out, right? Five of Swords. But someone's here at the back still got a victory. And it's causing someone some stress. Ten of Wands. Well, even if that was magic, even if people were working in cahoots together with that Three of Cups, right? Yeah, Six of Swords. That's all over, right? My Virgos are moving to calmer waters, okay? Yeah. They tried to slow down your finances for some of you. And nine of swords. And now they're having anxiety, worry, and stress. Because whatever they tried to do didn't work. Moving on. All right. So, give me three cards for my Virgos. Thank you. Getting stuck. Getting stuck. Oh, getting stuck. <laughs> what was the other one? Oh, Virgo. I get all excited. <laughs> give me one more. Give me one more. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, I knew it was good energy, man. Yeah, look at this. Still, though, this, this lingering past energy separation, right? The time, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So some of you may be going through this tower at the moment, or it may be coming up for you, right? You guys know your story. Oh, reconciliation. So, so, so. I can take this two ways. 
you have new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings, hence the Ace of Cups, right? We see this emperor breaking his neck to look, well, he's not even looking at the Queen of Pentacles. So again, this could be telling me for some of you, someone hasn't said anything yet because you've got your head turned that way as well. Yeah, your eyes are closed. Virgo's just like, as long as I can, as long as I can feel my pentacle, I'm okay. Thank you. And we have engagement. It says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So again, for some of you, you may meet somebody new and things may take off really quickly. But for some of you, we have reconciliation. It says someone from your past is returning to your life. And that's very interesting that that is going to go on top of the tower with this four of cups and this knight of swords. Somebody rushing back in, maybe from your past. But again, with all this new love and this engagement, right? And this energy of you freeing yourself and all this self-love, Virgos, right? And all this attention and attraction that you are attracting here. Someone may be too late. They missed the opportunity when they had the chance. They didn't see you as a gift from the universe. They may have been entertaining other people, other things, other situations, whatever it is. But by the time they realize that, hey, these cups actually don't have the rainbow coming out of them like this one, right? It may be too late. Well, what do I want to end this on? I think I'm going to go with love and light. I want to get one advice card as well. Let's get the advice first. What is the advice from my Virgos? What is the energy that they should be in, spirit? The bottom of the deck. We have listening to wisdom. So a lot of you have been paying attention. Again, this energy of a lot of you Virgos are very much tuned and tapped in, right? Listening to your ancestors and angels, knowing that they are not going to steer you wrong here. Yeah, I'm hearing someone say, God is good. Yeah, I feel like there was a water sign that was trying to do some kind of magic on you guys. Yeah, trying to, I want to say, um, unground you. When they wanted you to become uncentered, right? But some of my Virgos, you're too strong for this person. Your intuition, your faith is too strong. <laughs> What's the advice? What's the energies that my Virgo should be in? Now, the advice, take it, leave it. It's just advice, guys, okay? You all have free will. Wow. Healing waters. So a lot of you have healed yourself, right? We see that judgment there, that energy of setting yourself free. Some of you may be taking spiritual baths. I'm also hearing something about rainwater. Give me one more. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, look at that. Some of you are surrounding yourself with your crystals. Make sure you're keeping your crystals all charged up, guys. Hibernation and rejuvenation. So some of you have been in hermit mode. I feel like for a lot of you, that time is coming to an end. This woman is here. She's single. She's by herself. Some of you could have a cat. It doesn't have to be. But there is a cat. She's sleeping with a cat. But these stars is also giving me this energy of you guys being very much protected. It's almost like your ancestors and your angels are saying, you know what, Virgo, you can sleep peacefully. Maybe you are. <laughs> Prosperity and abundance. Look at this woman. Look how she's sitting with that glass of wine and just chilling, right? You can sleep peacefully, Virgo. It's time for someone here to receive what it is that they have been asking for. To receive the abundance that you have been waiting for. Let's get this angel card. <clears throat> I'm loving light card. I mean, all right, give me one card to end Virgo's reading. Thank you, spirit. That one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we have follow the path that's right for you. 
<laughs> oh, it makes me feel a little bit emotional. I don't know. This is I'm not an emotional person. I tell you that. <laughs> it says God blesses those who patiently. Wow. Patiently endure testing and temptation. So some of you have passed with flying colours. And now you deserve to be rewarded. For some of you this is going to be in love. For some of you this is going to be in finances. For some of you this is just the energy of feeling free, feeling stable, healing yourself. <laughs> it's almost like I'm hearing... Remember who you are. But then I was also hearing the bit from Black Panther where she kind of shouts out and she says, I think, does she say remember who you are or does she say show them who you are? Either way, I was hearing both. Then you have embrace adventure in your life, Virgos. It says, Jesus said, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to those who are like these children. Wow. Now, we, I feel like we all are the most highest children, God's children, which whoever you want to call. It. But then it gives me that energy of the fittest of the fittest will survive, right? The chosen ones. The ones who show that they could endure the journey. And I feel like for some of you, yes, I feel like it was long. And I feel like there was a lot that maybe you went through. But it's that energy of... Thank you, Spirit. It wasn't easy. But it was worth it. That's what I have for you, Virgos. <laughs> Guys... Stay safe, love and light.